Hi guys, so I hope you like the new setup. This is probably what I'll be doing for a little while. We'll see, unless this looks terrible and I just don't know it yet because I can't see what I'm doing. So I haven't uploaded in a little bit and I felt really bad and I just wanted to talk to you guys and I'm gonna try to do like a filming marathon today because now that I have everything set up in the place where I'm going to be for the next few months, you know, I feel like I can just go with the flow. I have some new equipment. I'm trying to figure it out in this space. My semester started so everything got crazy. I felt bad because towards the end of my winter break I was uploading like every other day because I had so much I had worked on over break that I wanted to share with you guys and I thought I had the rest of my month all planned out and then it just ended up not happening that way because I had to move and it was a mess and like moving just like throws me for a loop. I hate packing, I hate unpacking, I hate moving with like a burning passion. So that's why I disappeared for a hot second by updating you guys on Snapchat. I finally made a Snapchat for my YouTube channel. So that's pretty cool. So if you want to stay updated beyond just Twitter and the other places that you can find me and just see fun random little updates and stuff and I'm gonna do behind the scenes looks and just extra stuff you won't see on my channel or anywhere else. It is Miss Glambam YT because Miss Glambam was already taken. So if someone with that name is Snapchatting you, it ain't me. So I do want to do a Snapchat Q&A sometime relatively soon. So make sure you add me there and one of these days I'll be accepting questions and I'll be right here answering them and showing your guys' faces because that was requested. Alright, so now that I've done that little update, I will be getting into today's video. So I'm going to be doing another buy or don't try video because my last one went over pretty well and I like doing reviews on just one product at a time. Sometimes in these kind of videos I might group a few related products, but today's video is just on one product and it was a brand I'd never really heard of. It's kind of a newer, kind of independent beauty company, so I thought it would be cool to share with you guys something that I hadn't heard of before. Sorry if you hear talking in the background. My building was quiet all day and then the second I got ready to film, everyone like came back and started being loud. So This was sent to me through Octoly from the brand but that does not sway my opinion. You guys know I'm always honest with you and I tell you when something sucks or things I may not like about it, I tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So this is the whole truth and nothing but the truth about this product. So let me talk a little bit about this brand. This is by Galani Cosmetics and um, I hadn't heard of this before, obviously. I think this exact product has been in Ipsy bags before, so some of you may have heard of it. And the product I'm going to be talking about is their Cream Satin Lipstick, I think. So Galani is Hungarian for girl, and excuse me for reading off my laptop, I like forget the exact details, but the person who um, formulates these products, she was like the master chemist for a lot of really big makeup companies. Um, they were all formulated by her, a lot of big brands use her as like their chemist. So their site says that if you look inside your makeup bag right now, you will likely find that your favorite products were formulated by Ida. Gal Cesar and manufactured at Classic Cosmetics. Um, so she was a master chemist for two leading cosmetic houses in the United States. One was Max Factor and so Ida founded Classic Cosmetics where she and her team of leading chemists continue to formulate and fill products for industry leaders. So she has a lot of like experience and I thought that was really interesting um, and it said, oh my, God, my computer's like freaking out, won't let me scroll. So it says that over time Ida developed and saved her very best signature formulas for Galani. So these are kind of like her secrets. So I was really interested to see how they perform because you know it's like these big brands. I thought I saw L'Oreal somewhere when I looked on their website in the past but now it says that they like can't say which brands use that um, chem lab so the site says now you can experience carefully crafted formulations in a range of curated textures and Galani's unique formulations provide effortless application and high performance so the last time I looked on their site let's check again because I'm here right now but last time I checked they only had four kinds of products oh that's different now they've added some things when I looked it was just lipstick lip gloss they had eyeshadow quads and a mascara and now it looks like they also have concealer and foundation so their lipstick selection of colors is amazing 
on their site. I don't know if this is going to goof up my camera, but there's like so many. They have really weird colors. They have all different shades of purples, which I love. They have all sorts of deep reds, wearable pink colors. They have like a, a gray one called Steel that I really want to try. They have Midnight, which I'm guessing is a black. They even have like a white one called Marshmallow, and these retail for $22, so that's more than a MAC lipstick, so I'm kind of expecting a lot from these. Um, so they just have their logo on one end of the box, and the box is this really gorgeous kind of metallic, and it looks exactly like the packaging of the actual lipstick. It's made in the USA. You get 3.5 grams, um, and this company is out of California, so that's pretty cool. And then when you look at the actual lipstick, it feels really heavy. Like, it feels luxurious. It feels really nice. It's not like cheap uh, drugstore feeling packaging or anything like that. But at the same time, it's not clunky, it's really delicate looking, it has that beautiful metallic kind of finish to it, really pretty. I think this will look gorgeous on my vanity, especially if you had a whole bunch of them. Um, so mine is in the color Lux, and oh, another thing about the packaging I really like is that it has like the slow close cap, so you're not going to shut it and squish your lipstick. And this kind of reminds me of like Angel by MAC, which I really really liked. It was a really pretty uh, kind of lighter everyday pink. So this is definitely like a nudie color. Really pretty, kind of a peachy pink. And I get a little scared of nudes sometimes. They don't always look the best on my skin tone. I like more of a bold color. So my only gripe is that I had gotten a different color maybe, something darker, because I'm still kind of on the fence as to how this exact shade looks on me, but the formula on this guys is amazing. Let's do a swatch on my severely chapped winter hands. They're nasty. Maybe I shouldn't do a close-up of this swatch, but it's really pigmented, really beautiful, kind of has some bricky orange undertones. The smell I am absolutely in love with on these, especially when you have it on your lips and you just kind of get like a little taste of it and a little whiff of it every once in a while. It smells exactly like MAC lipstick, so depending on how you feel about that scent is how you'll feel about these. They go on very smoothly. I'll put it on in a second for you guys. I'm not wearing anything right now. I might have a little bit of foundation lip, so if that's looking gross, I'm sorry. But they apply very smoothly. They are cream satin, so it's kind of a glossy finish, but it doesn't feel like it slides off. They're not very drying at all. Um, they're not actually me moisturizing either. It's kind of somewhere in between, but it's a little bit drying, but in a good way because as you wear it, it kind of sinks into your lips. It doesn't really settle into your lines, but it just stays longer. This was really long wearing. I wore this to a dinner party with one of my friends and I was still wearing it after I ate and drank a ton of stuff and walked out the door. So the lasting powder on these is amazing. So that's good, especially for darker colors. As you can see in the swatch, it's very creamy. Um, pigmentation is definitely there even though this is a lighter color and on nudes I find lipsticks tend to not be as pigmented but this one you definitely have the color there it's kind of similar to my natural lip color I don't know how you'll be able to see that in this lighting but in like everyday light it looks very dark now but in like everyday lighting it looks kind of like my natural lip color. So for the try on, as I always do, I'm gonna put on some chapstick before I put it on. I always do that no matter what kind of lipstick or finish it is. So that adds a little extra slip to your lips and makes the lipstick easier to apply. It might cut down on wear time a little bit because it might slip off more easily, but with these, I don't really see a problem with that. So I grabbed a mirror and we're just gonna pop this baby on so you guys can see how it applies. So as you can see, it's a very natural color. I think this is definitely a warmer toned nude, and since I'm cool toned, that's why I feel a little weird about it on me. It's very peachy, and it looks good. I'll continue to wear it. It's a very easy, like, if you're just running out the door and you want a little color on your lips and a little shine and gloss, which this definitely has, which is very nice, um, then you could, you know this color works for you. It's not too dramatic. You can just swipe it on head out the door. I think it's definitely great for that. I love the formula. It's going to last a long time on my lips. So I believe that's really what you're paying for with the price since it is up there and definitely more of a mid-range to luxury, not high luxury, but you know, it's up there in price. It's more than MAC lipsticks. Um, so if you're a lip junkie like me and you love lipsticks and you have the money, you want to splurge, you want to try these out, I would definitely say go for it. I definitely want to try more colors of these. I think 
these would be like a great gift maybe to like a girlfriend that loves makeup or something you know like trying a new brand and once you hear the backstory of the master chemist it's really a cool thing um so yeah my only thing is that i'm not crazy about the color but i will continue to wear it because it's just so easy you know it's like a nude um, but I think this would definitely go over better on warmer skin tones for sure. I don't know, you guys tell me how you like this lipstick color on me in the comments. But I do really like the product overall and I hope I can try new colors in the future. Who knows, maybe I'll splurge and treat myself one day. But I think they're definitely worth the money if you have it and you want to splurge. So if you guys would be interested in hearing about other products from this brand, there are a few others on Octoly that I might be able to get if you guys are interested. Um, so let me know down below if you want more from this brand or what other products you would like to see in a buy or don't try. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like and make sure you're subscribed. Join the family if you haven't already and check out my second vlogging channel as well. Add me on Snapchat, like my Facebook page. I have an Instagram and Twitter, which is where I mostly hang out if you want to connect with me more. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Three, two, one, bam!